hello friends welcome back to my channel today i'll be taking you through this simple tutorial and i really hope that you'll enjoy it guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and enjoy this tutorial this poncho is basically worked using two rectangular panels which are joined together you'll see how it's joined in this tutorial and then a collar is made and then these tassels are just added I'll be using these stitch markers, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a 3.5 millimeter hook, and of course this yarn here, it's grayish in color. It's a four ply winter king, as you can see, and it's a hundred percent acrylic. And so guys, I'm just going to give you an illustration of the pattern that I used when I was making this uh, poncho. So I'm going to start by chaining 12 remember guys this pattern requires an even number of chains when starting so for my actual punch i started by chaining 8 chains and for this illustration i'll just be using 12 so i'll start by chaining 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 sorry 10 11 and 12 and now guys i have my 12 chains and then i'm going to start by working a double crochet into the third that the third chain from the hook so this is the first the second and i'm now working a double crochet into the third so i'm going to work a double crochet into the third one like that and then i'm now going to work double crochets into the remaining number of chains I've now finished the first row of double crochets guys remember I started by uh, chaining 12 and so I should end up I skipped the first two chains and that means I should end up with 10 double crochets so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and so guys to start my second row I'm going to start by chaining 3 1 2 and 3 like that turn my work and as you can see we have these chains here so I'm going to start by skipping this very first stitch here and work into the second stitch so I'm going to work a double crochet into this second stitch here like that and uh, after I have my first double crochet I'm now going to work the bead stitch and this bead stitch is worked by yarning over like that, inserting my hook through the back of the double crochet, yarning over and pulling through, yarning over again, going through the back loop, the back of the double crochet and yarning over and pulling through, yarning over the third time, going through the back of the first double crochet, yarning over and pulling through. At the end of it all, I'll be having seven, seven loops at these within these uh, double crochet so it's this is the first one sorry yeah this is the first one the second one the third one the fourth one the fifth the sixth and the seventh so i'm going to now yarn over and pull through six loops and i'll remain with two loops and then i'll now yarn over and pull through all the two remaining loops and as you can see i already have my first bead stitch and then to go on guys i'm going to yarn over skip the next stitch again this one and work into the the following like that i'll have another 
double crochet like that i'm now going to repeat the bead stitch just like i did here yarn over insert my hook through the back of the double crochet yarn over and pull through that is the first time yarn over go through the back of the double crochet yarn over and pull through the second time yarn over go through the back of the double crochet yarn over the third time and now guys i have my seven loops in this double in this crochet i'm now going to yarn over and pull through six loops i'll remain with two which i'll yarn over and pull through all of them and as you can see i have two bead stitches yeah so the pattern will go on like that guys i'll be yarning over skipping the next stitch and working into the next so i'll just do like that i've worked a double crochet i'm going to yarn over go through the back of the double crochet and yarn over yarn over again go through the back and yarn over and pull through yarn over again go through the back of the double crochet and yarn over and pull through at the end of it all i'll be remaining with seven uh, loops i'll pull through the the six loops sorry which will leave me with two loops in the crochet which i'll yarn over and pull through all of them and so guys i'll be doing that i'll be skipping one one stitch and working a double crochet into the next and then working a bead stitch into the same same double crochet having seven loops working pulling through six loops remaining with two yarning over and pulling through those remaining two and now guys i have the last two stitches as you can see yeah the last two this one and this one and so guys for the last stitch as you, you know you know i was keeping one stitch and then working into the next so for this case i'll skip this one and work a double crochet into the last one just like that i hope you can see the pattern already forming guys it's beautiful yeah so to <clears throat> this poncho is basically a repeat of the first and the second row yeah so we are going to work again the row of double crochets just to emphasize on how it's done to start the third row which is a repetition of the first row remember we started by skipping the two chains and working into the third one so i'll be chaining two here turning my work and i'll be working into this very first stitch here yeah so I'll just work a random row of double crochets into every stitch across starting from the very first one. We're not going to skip any stitch. We're just going to work a row of double crochets like this. Remember guys at the end of every row we should be having the number of stitches we started with. For this illustration we should be having 10 we should be having 10 stitches now guys i've worked uh my row of double crochets but to complete this row remember we started the second row by chaining three so to make sure that we have the same number of 10 stitches we will be working our last double crochet into the third chain into the third the third chain yeah from the first three st chains we made when we were starting the second row just like that and when you count your work, you'll be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I've done three rows. We are now going to repeat for the second time the second row. And then, guys, I'll leave you to work on your projects. For my case, remember, I started with 80 chains. And I for, once I worked the first row, I ended up with 78 uh, stitches. And then I worked the the repetition of the first and the second row for 66 rows both panels so for the second for the third row guys it's just a repeat of the second row i'll start by chaining three and then skipping the very first chain here stitch rather and then working into the second one like that a double crochet and now working a bead stitch like that We have seven loops in our stitch in our crochet i'll pull through the first six i'll remain with two 
uh, loops and then I'll pull through the remaining two and we'll have a bead stitch there. I'll now yarn over, skip the next stitch and work into the next one like that. A double crochet. And then we now work a bead stitch into this same same double crochet we've made. So we'll just work the bead stitch like that. Three times working through the back of the loop and yarning of the double crochet rather and yarning over and now I'll pull through the first six. I'll remain with the two and I'll pull through the remaining two. And so guys, just like that, work on your projects. <sighs> I'll see you once you have your 66 rows of alternating between the double crochets and the bead stitches and we'll continue from there. Guys, I now have my two panels. I've worked the 66 rows of alternating between the single the double crochet and the bead stitches as you can see I started here with um I started this with eight chains eight chains and then when I worked the first row I remained with 78 stitches which was constant until the very end of this work so both panels are the same Sorry, I might not get to cover this completely using the camera, but yeah, these are the panels as you can see until here. I'm now going to show you how I'm going to join this work until I come up with a proper poncho. So guys, we are going to, I'm going to show you an illustration using, um, uh, I don't know how I'm going to cover this. I'm going to show you an illustration using a paper, two panels of paper so that it will be easier because that will be able to be covered by the camera. And so guys, you are going to assume that these two papers here are the two panels that I made. I'm just going to use them to illustrate to you how I'm going to fold the two panels together so that we'll come up with a poncho. So we are going to take the two panels together, have the, the, the wrong sides, yeah? The wrong sides facing the upper part. And then we are now going to take... um. This is the longer part of the other panel and this is the shorter part of the other panel. We are going to join one of the sides, like the shorter part of the panel into the longer part of the panel, like this, the, the way I've done here. So this is the part we are going to, to sew in together. And remember guys, this is forming an L, yeah? Once we have this part joined together, I'm now going to take this uh, end here of this panel and fold it like this until okay we are going to fold it like this remember guys this part is already joined here and so i'm going to fold the end of this panel until the very end of this rim so that they are in line with the with the edge of the longer panel once i have joined like that i'm now going to take this end of this panel here and bring it like this once I've brought that like this I'm going to to sew this part again here and as you can see guys we already have a poncho this is going to be our neck region here and this is going to be the edge of the poncho this is the end the point of the poncho like the part that will be the front or the back and then guys we are going to work a row of single crochet and then add some fringes at the edges and for this neck region we are going to work a collar yeah so guys i'm going to work on the panels and then i'll show you how i've done it and so guys just an illustration of how i've folded my poncho as you can see this is now the neck region i haven't actually joined the like joined the two panels i've just uh, uh, put them together using a stitch marker and this is the other part I've used a stitch marker. And as you can see, I already have my poncho starting to form here, yeah? like that. So I'm going to show you how I'll join this panel here. And then you'll apply the same tactic to join the other panel. And I'll see you after that, guys. And so, guys, as you can see, this part is not so straight. That they like the edge here and the edge here, here here and here so i'm just going to 
s- to join the edges together the best way I know how. So I'm going to basically start here like that. And then join that part to this part here. Like that. And then I'll basically be working a matrix stitch. I'll be working from the inside part to the outside part like that. And then also coming here and doing this. Like that and like that. I hope you can already see that I'm joining these. I'll later on sew in these edges, guys. You'll just work uh, on your edges the best way you know how. Just make sure that you follow a certain order. I'm sure by the time you you're getting to the midpoint, you'll have achieved a certain formula, like you'll be knowing where to insert your tapestry needle at each side of the edge of the ponchos or the panels rather. And just like that guys as you can see I already have my work joining and that's the same that is what I'll basically do until I have this entire part joined together and then you'll also apply the same tactic to join the other part that you're supposed to join in this other end and then I'll see you guys so that you can work on our collar and the edges here I now have my work fully joined guys as you can see the neck region is here like that this is the point where I had the joining done it's clear yes and very uniform yeah and then these are the edges of my work I leave in these ends here and this is the point of our poncho just like that I have my poncho complete and now guys I'm going to take you through how I'll work on the neck on the collar rather and then we'll, ne we'll later on work on our edges like this and add some fringes so guys i'm going to make a collar for my poncho and i'll be using um the back post and front post double crochets to make a proper and beautiful collar so to start with i'm just going to take one point here as you can see this place is not so uniform We'll still work our way through it and find points where we'll have our double crochets worked on. So I'm just going to tie a slip knot like that. Starting from this point here, the, the, the corner of this, or the rather the point where we have the V shaped, I'm going to start here. I'm going to insert my hook. Once I've made my slip knot, I'll pull over and then make a chain like that. And then, guys, I'm going to chain another. I'm going to make another chain and then I'll start by working um, half. Sorry, I'm going to, to work double crochets. I'll be working on the points where I feel... I can insert my hook. It's not so uniform like I told you. Um, I'll be working two double crochets in these places here. The, the row where we have the bead stitch. This one here. I'll be working two double crochets. And then I'll work one here. Another one here. And then I'll work two double crochets in this row where we had the bead stitch. 
another one here and one at this point here yeah two and then one here and one here two double crochets here and then one at this point sorry 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 one at this point here and one at this point here two here well that's how I lock mine I don't know how you lock yours but as you can see it's giving me some nice double crochets so guys I'll work uh, all the way around and then I'll come back and we'll start working our front post and back post double crochets And so guys, I'm going to now take you through um, the second row where I'll be working a uh, back post and front post double crochets. I've chained two and then I'm now going to make a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. A front post. And a back post like that, back post, front post. I'll be basically alternating between the front post and the back post double crochets until I get to the end of this second row. Well, I'll come back and show you how I'll work on this collar until we bring it to a completion. And as you can see, it's already starting to form nicely. Yeah? Guys, I'm already coming towards the end of the second row that is the row front post and back post double crochets as you can see and I'm going to take you through how I'll be working for the third row and the rest of the remaining rows so I'm going to complete this row of front post and back post double crochets like this then I'll join my work using a slip stitch like that guys and so I'm going to chain two again and from this row henceforth we'll be working a front post double crochet to the point we have a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet to this point where we have a back post double crochet so I'll be working a front post to a front post like that and a back post to the point we have a back post front front post to a point we have front post and back post to the point where we'll be having a back post just like that guys you'll work a number of rows you like until you feel like your, your collar is long enough short enough whichever way you'll like it but as you can see the ribbings are already beginning to form here yeah? and they look beautiful so guys from this row henceforth we'll be repeating the same thing once you get to this point you join your work using a slip stitch and start the the, the next row and guys i'll be working my project i'll get back to you so that you can continue with our work i now have my collar ready guys as you can see i've worked uh, several rows of front post and back post and then i've also worked on the edges as i told you earlier i haven't actually worked any rows of single crochets i've just fixed these tassels like that and the project is complete